you need to com compare a series of decisions instead of making a static A versus B choice. And this is what I mean. Many people, when they make a decision, they contrast A versus B, and they take a static approach. Like in the example that I just mentioned, for example, that option A is working at a company earning 50,000 now with a possibility of earning $150,000 in five years. And you view that as a static option as though as though this is fixed and nothing will ever change and that there are not a multitude of other options within this option. And on the other hand, starting your own business, a static decision would be if you just look at it as, okay, I'm going, going to start this business, I'm going to invest this much money, but then there's a risk of either losing it all or earning, let's say $500,000 in five years. But the reality is that in life, there, there is nothing as, there is no such thing as a static option, if you will. I'm sure you get what I mean here. But rather, the decision that you make A versus B is a decision between two possible series of decisions. This is what I mean. So if you decide to stay in your company and earn that $50,000, you stay employed, basically. Uh, the option, the, the, the possibility the possible outcomes is not just whether you earn 150000 in future or not. But along your way, like um, during these five years, there will be a multitude of other decisions that you can make. Let's say that now you're earning $50,000 and your plan is that um, you want to become promoted next year, so you'll earn 80000 and then 120000 and so on. But then next year, it turns out that you didn't get that you don't get that promotion. You somehow hit a roadblock and things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them, them to be. So it doesn't mean that it's a complete failure because there would be other options, right? So if that doesn't work out, that promotion, there are other possibilities. You can still decide to move to a similar role but in another company and negotiate a better salary for you over there. Same thing with... Um, with the option of starting a business. It's not a yes or no decision. It's not a one-time decision. Once you start that business and you run that business, even if you fail after, let's say, one year, let's just say you invested your money or investor's money and you completely run out of cash, no one buys your product and you fail, it's not the end of the story. Because from there, you, you can, choose to either continue the business, you get uh, an infusion of fresh money, fresh funds, or you choose to um, to take another path, you, you start uh, working on another product or another service. So there are a lot of things that you can do. Or you could even decide if the business doesn't work out. Maybe you could go back and work at a company again. There's always this plan B. And I know people are not fond of having plan B, right? You want to go all the way. But just know that decisions usually consist of a series of decisions. So it's not just A versus B, but you need to ask yourself for each of these options, what are actually the series of possible decisions in the next five years? If I take this first step, which other doors, which other possibilities will open up from there. And by doing that, you will have a much more complete and more realistic picture, and it will be easier to choose between these options A and B.